The Pope was a kid magnet, getting hugs, poking noses, giving kisses. Oh, happy day! With kids perched on the steps. For family day in St. Peter's Square, but one boy in particular caught not just the Pope's eye, but the world's. He left his seat and came to inspect the Pope. Even kissed his cross before wandering off to explore the stage. But this six-year-old kept coming back to play peekaboo with the Pope. Standing alongside like a papal guard, when the Pope stood to speak, a cardinal tried to move the boy along, but he wasn't moving. When Pope Francis started shaking hands, he tried to break it up, then switched tactics and began to usher others up to meet the Pope. The Pope sure does do a lot of head petting. But this kid's hair tousling was followed by soulful eye contact and later attempted bribery. A security officer used candy to try to lure the boy to leave. The kid took the candy and stayed. Care familie. Hugging the Pope's legs. <laughs> Turns out the boy was an orphan from Colombia, South American like the Pope. He was adopted a little over a year ago by an Italian couple. Mom and Dad were out in the audience, separated from the adoption agency kids granted front row seats. After doing a few neck exercises, the boy made his boldest move yet, taking a seat in the Pope's empty chair. This photo was Instagrammed out by the Vatican with the caption, a special guest with hashtag Pope Francis. At some point after he vacated the throne, the Pope's shadow finally disappeared from the stage. When the Pope himself left later in his Pope mobile, we half expected to see the kid at the wheel. How many roads must a man walk down? He may not yet be a man, but on this day he sure was the man. Genimo CNN. Oh, happy day! New York.